Stopper release day, y'all. Volume five is out today. We're super excited. We just woke up. We're ready for the day. I made the decision to not pre-order it so I could pick it up in person. Because every time I pre-order like an album or a book, I always get it like weeks or a month after the release date. And then I'll be like in Target and I'll see it in the store. And I'll be like, why didn't I just pick it up in the store? Why did I order it online? Because I'm paying more and I'm waiting longer and I make myself mad. But now I'm mad that I have to go to Target right now. Normally I would never say that, but I don't have any plans to do anything today. It's just kind of like a stay inside day. And that would have been smart because there's like three feet of snow outside and I'm really not feeling like going and cleaning off my car and going to Target. But I have to, I have to go get hard stopper. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'm gonna, I gotta show you guys how bad it is outside. Look at that. That's, that's a foot. That is a foot of snow out there. But it's fine. I think the roads are fine because my little brother's at school, so it can't be that bad. They didn't even get a snow day. So I can't, I'll be fine if there's no snow day. I did drive my car at like midnight last night. So there's not a lot of snow on it. So it's honestly not that bad. And the roads look fine. I just don't like being cold. The roads were so bad last night that I was driving and a car like swerved in front of my car and I had to drive off the road. So I can't be worse than that, I'm hoping. Probably just gonna go like this. I mean, it's cozy. And I didn't put makeup on or anything, so I don't know if I should like get ready for the day. There's literally mascara under my eyes. I don't know, should I get like ready? Or should I just go and then just like not? Oh, I don't like seeing myself in the mirror, but my room's kind of messy. This, this is my little hard stuff for show. So it's gonna go right there. It's gonna be so good. I framed Kit Connor signed photo that I will cherish forever. Don't look at that. There was a, there's another shelf that was up there and it had all my Hunger Games stuff on it, but it fell. But I do, my pleasing one is safe. My prized possessions. But yes, anyways, this is all my Heartstopper books. I have other Alice Osman books, but I just kept Heartstopper Universe up here. So yeah, I'm so excited to put it there. Even though I've already read the comics online probably multiple times, I think when I get volume five, I'm just gonna reread it real quick. Cause it's just like so fast. Like it takes like, not like 30 minutes to read one of them for me. So I'm probably gonna reread it just to, you know, be there. But I can't decide. I literally just woke up, it's like 12, I think. Listen, I've been staying up late. I'm moving locations because my heater kicks on in my room and it's really obnoxiously loud. Coming in this room with this festive tree and the little fireplace, it's very festive looking. My mother does a good job of decorating. I can figure out how to turn on the light. Yes, there we go. Not too much light though, because I'm not looking too good right now. Here's my here's my thing. I'm on I'm on winter break. Okay. Um, and I've actually been pretty busy every day, but today was like my day that I have nothing planned. So like, why would I put makeup on if I'm just going to Target and then coming home and probably gonna be like reading all day and like working out some stuff? I feel like I should just not get dressed. But like, people don't go to Target. People don't go to Target wearing. Well, yeah, people do go to Target wearing sweatpants. That's I do that sometimes. I'm overthinking it. It'll be fine. I'm gonna walk in there, grab my book, and leave. Pay, of course, but leave very quickly. I almost, I looked at like the same day delivery thing on the Target app and I almost did that. I was like, let's make the poor Target worker drive to me. It's so I don't have to go out there because I was feeling, I was a little bit nervous. I didn't even look outside yet. I just knew how bad it was last night. But then I looked outside and I was like, oh, it's, it's not as bad as last night at all. But it was like $10 extra to deliver it to me. And I'm like, mm, we can drive. <laughs> we could save the $10. I think I'm going to wash my face and then not put makeup on. This is a big, do you guys do this? Or am I just like weird? Like, cause if it's like past like 5 PM, unless I'm going out to like a party or something like that. If it's past 5 PM, I'm not gonna put makeup on. Like that's so dumb. But 
it's not past 5 p.m. I'm just thinking about how I'm not gonna be going out again today, most likely, and if I do, it'll just be like, maybe to my dad's house to hang out with my siblings. So like, why, like, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go, well, I'm gonna wash my face, I'm going to go to Target, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna shower, and I'm gonna make hot coffee, and I'm gonna sit by the fireplace, and I'm gonna read Heart Stepper, and everything's great. Don't you guys just love my vlogs where I just overthink everything and just rant to you guys about it? Because that's every single one of my vlogs. I overthink very small scenarios. This is what my brain is like all the time. I'm gonna go wash my face now. <laughs> Not wearing this hat to Target, but I thought I'd put it on for a little haul because my friends got me some Christmas gifts. So I was gonna share them. Claudia got me these slippers that I literally don't wanna stop wearing. And then my friends Emily and Mike got me this Hunger Games coloring book. It is literally so cool. Y'all aren't even ready for this one. Tiffany got me this One Direction Build-A-Bear that like just doesn't exist anymore. I am very much emotionally attached to it and I want to take it everywhere. It's got them on the shirt and it's got the little feet and then he has One Direction on his heart. <laughs> same, literally same. This is very special to me. Noah got me this Tyler the Creative vinyl. Shout out to Carson for the SpongeBob toothbrush holder. And then Claudia also got me this book, which I'm excited. She really likes Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've read Daisy Jones and the Six, and that's all. But I'm about to read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo in a couple books, I think. I've got two in the lineup. And Mackenzie got me these annotation tabs because she knows that I'll always need those. Oh yeah, and she also got me this Song of Achilles t-shirt. It's so pretty. And it's got like quotes and little drawings on the back. Sorry if I sound a little like nasally. I am recovering is probably not the right word. I am going through some tonsillitis right now really fun, never had that before, on antibiotics for it, doesn't really feel like it's doing anything. So if anyone else has had swollen tonsils in their life, let me know how you how you deal with that. My throat really doesn't hurt, it's my freaking ears. My ears hurt and I just feel like, like, gross. I don't need to talk about it for too long because it's kind of gross. I'm going to the doctors again tomorrow to see if things are still going okay because they were like yeah you're gonna have to take these antibiotics for 10 days and if the infection isn't gone you're gonna have to see a throat and mouth specialist and i know what that means that means they're gonna see if i need to get my tonsils out and i just don't want to do that i don't want to deal with that i don't want to deal with that surgery i know that when you get your tonsils out you throw up and if you've been following me for a while you know that i hate vomit like i have metaphobia it's the literal fear of vomit and it's not just like me being like oh, I don't like vomit like I am deathly afraid of throwing up and I'd rather my tonsils get infected and blow up in the back of my throat and I suffer for years than throw up from the surgery so if that puts that into perspective for you anyways I think that was everything I kind of scattered my gifts when I got home but yeah, that was my little haul for my friends. We had such a fun time together. I love my friends so much. Okay, now I'm gonna do what everybody clicked on the video for and I'm going to go to Target for real this time. We're out of the house and I'm about to clean the snow off my car. Okay, yep, this is awesome. You can see my tracks from last night and how it snowed a lot since midnight last night. I only see. I can't find it. We're back in the Santa hat because I'm feeling festive. I got it. Um, it was not on the shelves. So I asked someone and I showed them the app because I was like, it says it's in stock. And she was like, oh, it's in the back, let me get it. So then she got it for me. And it was really scary, but I did it and I, I, I spoke to somebody. And I felt bad that she had to go in the back, but I really wanted it. So it's here. 
I can't wait to put it on my shelf because it's in like rainbow order and it's so cutie. It's orange on the side, but I don't want to put it there yet because I want to read it. I think I'm going to read it right now because why not? Let's reread volume five. Okay, so I finished. I realized that I haven't read this since like it came out like every day. So it was really different to read it like in one sitting versus like waiting every day for the next page. Um, I'm, this, this one is so like cutie patootie. I am just, it's so cute. I just love them, they're adorable. Um, and then Alice said season three is gonna be four and five. So like, I can't believe like, what, probably like the end of next year, we're gonna get this on screen, right? Yeah, because they're filming right now. It's probably gonna be like the end of next year. They've been pretty quick with it, so. Okay, now I'm gonna go put this on my shelf. Well, I need to take the stupid sticker off and then I'll put it on, I'll show you guys what my shelf looks like when it's on there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can't wait for volume six it'll be the rainbow but it looks like it just like completes it so much i love it i love it all right well that's it for this little vlog i don't really know what it was i just thought i'd capture this little journey because i don't really have much else to record i've really been wanting to do some like yearly reading wrap-ups i don't know like my five stars of the year everything i've read this year because i've read 58 books i just haven't figured out what video exactly i want to do um because i've seen people do like my favorite book of each month that i've read or like just five star reads or like everything i read and talk about it but that would be really long um so you guys if you guys want anything specifically let me know or just like recommendations in general i'd love to do that um because I love reading. So let me know if there's any type of video you want to see for like a yearly wrap up or just in general, because I probably am going to film one soon. I really want to talk about some stuff that I read this year since it's almost 2024. So yeah, thanks for watching and comment below what you want to see next.